Better is good enough. In the game of evolution, you don't have to be the best. You just have to be better than your competitors. For example, the first vertebrate to leave the water was slow and awkward. But on land, it avoided aquatic predators and gained access to new resources, giving it an edge over its competitors. Evolution often produces structures that are not perfectly suited for their use. The panda's thumb is actually an overgrown wrist bone. It doesn't function as well as our more complex jointed thumb, but it works well enough to allow the panda to grasp bamboo stalks. Not new, just different. Evolution can greatly modify existing structures, but it has to work within the limits of what is available. In people, the larynx sits lower in the throat than it does in other mammals. In this position, the larynx can produce a wide range of vocal sounds that are important for speech. The trade-off is we cannot breathe and swallow at the same time, which increases our risk of choking. Evolution is not climbing a ladder toward perfection. It is common for traits to disappear over the course of evolution. Arctic ice fish have lost their red blood cells, which might seem like a disadvantage. But their thinner blood can flow at temperatures below freezing, allowing them to occupy harsh environments where few predators can survive. Similarly, the parasitic tapeworm has completely lost the digestive and circulatory systems of its free-living ancestors. Instead, it uses its skin to absorb nutrients from its host's digestive tract. Natural selection does not necessarily favor change. Many species alive today look identical to their ancient ancestors. Among these so-called living fossils are horsetail plants and horseshoe crabs, which resemble fossils that are hundreds of millions of years old. Modern cyanobacteria form mounds that resemble fossilized structures that covered the earth billions of years ago. Natural selection maintains traits that are necessary for survival by eliminating harmful mutations from the gene pool. Species as diverse as bacteria, plants, and humans share about 500 genes that have been preserved over billions of years of evolution. These genes control basic life functions, including DNA replication, transcription, and translation. Use it or lose it. Selection can only work if a structure is in use. If a structure lapses into disuse, as with the eyes of animals that live in total darkness, the underlying genes will accumulate mutations as they pass from generation to generation. Mutations in eye genes do not affect the animal's survival. Without functioning eyes, they still live, reproduce, and pass their non-functional genes to their offspring. The Theory of Evolution in everyday conversation, people use the word theory to mean a speculation or a guess. But in science, a theory is not a guess at all. It is an accepted explanation based on a large number of observations and experimental results. Scientists accept the theory of evolution in the same way they accept the theories that the Earth orbits the Sun and that matter is made of atoms. Evolution does not explain how life began. While other fields of science aim to understand the origin of life, evolution explains how life has changed and diversified since the time of its formation. Many theologians and scientists see no conflict between their religious beliefs and the theory of evolution. Size isn't everything. More complex organisms do not necessarily have larger genomes. The largest vertebrate genomes, which belong to a lungfish and a salamander, are 25 times larger than our own. Some plant genomes are nearly as large. Many single-celled amoeba-like creatures have several hundred chromosomes, while humans have just 46. Humans are not the ultimate achievement of evolution. Humans are less complex than other organisms in many ways. Birds can see more colors than we can, and the mantis shrimp can see polarized light, an adaptation that allows it to view its transparent prey. Mice can detect more smells than we can. They have about 1,400 different smell receptors, while humans only have about 400. Evolutionary change is not linear. It looks more like the branches of a tree. Humans did not evolve from modern apes. Rather, humans and apes share a common ancestor. 
Our closest living relative, the chimpanzee, is as different from this common ancestor as we are.